Hey guys, something a little bit different today. Um, we're up to week nine now. I've been delaying this video, so we're up to the end of week nine. And uh, with a 12 week championship in iRacing, only eight weeks are counted. So that means they have what's called a drop round. This video is more for people who are relatively new to iRacing. Those guys have been doing it for 10 years. Probably not the video for you, <laughs> but people who aren't completely into uh, iRacing or just into the racing itself, just wanted to show you a few things about the iRacing website, about how to get the information and also how to calculate your drop rounds and for you to figure out whether it's worth doing those last four rounds. A lot of people will just do the first eight rounds and they'll drop the mic and they'll come back in five weeks when the last four rounds are over and week 13 is over and they'll start a new season. But sometimes it's worth jumping in. There's quite often good tracks at the second half of the season. And uh, we've noticed participation just drop right off from this week onwards. So, yeah, to put it bluntly, I would have to say, yes, it is worth it. I love racing. Um, I love just getting stuck into it. So that would be my short answer. But I'll just show you how I calculate it all. This is the iRacing website. Um, there is so much information you can extract out of there. This is for the championship points. Um, we're up to week nine, and you can have a maximum of eight weeks counted. And you'll notice in the top 25 of this Div 2, there's still a couple of people who have only done seven rounds. And this guy's six, and this guy's six. So for those guys, yes, jump in. You will definitely gain in the championship. And it's pretty tight from P3 to P. 10 <laughs> and on it's all fairly tight around here so you're doing one more round of 100 points yep jump into it so i quite often don't worry about my other series i only look at the radicals and for yeah div 2 um p7 but across all divisions i'm in the top 25 i'm nowhere near as good as these guys jürgen mick got yoni anthony castles andrus we have Christopher Cash, who's only done five rounds, but he's got pretty much the same points as me. Um, I like to stay in the top 25, but you notice from round eight until round 12, where you were at eight, round eight, you'll notice yourself drop, 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 as these other guys start to do more races. So that's for the Radicals. With the uh, Audi TCR, I'm currently 40th in Div 2. This is not about bragging rights or anything. I've actually got a lot of improvements to do. This is about calculating. So, yeah, in, and I think I'm worldwide 116. So I'd like to get in the top 100 out of 5,000 people. That'd be pretty good. But with the website, you can get so much information. I'm going to go to this screen, so it's probably a bit easier for you. You can go to, let's just say, for example, for the Audi TCR, you want to see how your times are racking up. You can go for all time records or just have a look at, where are we this week? <laughs> let's have a look. I've completely forgotten. I've kind of washed away TCR for the week. <laughs> Lime Rock, that's where we are. So let's go to the world records. You want to see where your times stack up. Mine are always embarrassing. 2019, season four, go, full course. So I'm actually 600th <laughs> time-wise. And then you can work out where you rank in the race, in the qualifying, and in practice so that it's just a wealth of information but if you want to check out your drop rounds you go to my series results and it takes a second to load you go to search now and that will show every race that you've done across all categories but then you can actually go down here to let's say for example the radicals that all fits on one page so that's all of my races this season and this is how I calculate. So what I do is I just basically highlight the whole thing. Do, 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 do. Come on. Highlight the whole thing. Press Control C. 
and I've made, um, this is completely free. This is through Google Sheets. Um, you can put that information in here. Once you've copied it, what I've found the difference between this and Excel is you paste special. You paste just the values. You do the format, it just goes all weird and gobbledygook. So that's for the Audi TCR. That's for the radicals. I thought I'd make two pages. That's how it looks originally. And this is how I calculate it. So once I take all the relevant info, the irrelevant information out, take out columns and everything, all you need to know is the week, series, the track that you did, and the championship points. You can actually get rid of these two, really. Um, and you need to work out what four rounds will be dropped from your championship points total. So in the radicals, um, week nine actually did well. 117 points I'm really happy with that so that makes my four drop rounds uh, round two three four and five and this is where you can calculate how many points you need to gain in the championship so if you score more than 94 points your races in the last four rounds or my races in the last four rounds will actually count to the championship. So my drop was 94. My maximum, sorry, minimum points that I needed. And I got 117. So I got 23 points in my championship. Which is pretty cool because it's fairly tight in here. And I'd love to get some of these guys. They're seriously fast. Juan Rodriguez is always up the front. And if you can beat these guys in a championship, you get nothing for it, but you get like a little little bit of a fist pump. So that's how I calculated the drop round for the Radicals. And Audi TCR is similar. My latest race, race nine, uh, was 45 points. Pretty crap drop round. So the other three are round seven, five, and three, which is 90, 87, and 73. So I've got to score more than 90 points to, to actually gain in the championship. But not counting this one, going higher would be Road Atlanta. Now you see here that I've got the average. I'll put a link down below. Here it is. This is from the iRacing support page and it shows you how to calculate. If you do a hundred races, you're not going to get the points of the best race for that week. Um, it actually averages out. So if you do four races, it only counts that best uh, championship point uh, result um, for the week. But once you get five onwards, it gets a little bit muddy. So if you do five races all the way up to eight races, it'll grab your two best results and will average them out. So if your two best results are 100 points and 200 points, you don't get the 200 points for the championship. You only get 150 because it's the two of them averaged out. And then when you do even more from nine until 12, it grabs your top three. So people who do race after race after race after race aren't necessarily going to gain in the championship. Those people maybe are more hunting for I rating or safety rating. This is about championship. And I love watching numbers. So yeah, if you do 13 onwards, it counts your top four results and averages them down. So that's how we calculate it. If you want to know if it's worth jumping in for the last four weeks of iRacing? Absolutely. Absolutely, well and truly. With the Radicals, we have a pretty good schedule. And with... Let's see if this works. Nope. As far as schedule goes, I mean, we've got... Um, Silverstone this week. But then we've got Barber, we've got Monza, and then Nürburgring. Nürburgring, five laps of that is going to be tough. So probably have low participation there, but Monza, definitely. A lot of people who leave the place 
leave iRacing for a few weeks are going to miss out on this. This could be really good fun. It's a Grand Prix circuit, so it's got all the chicanes. Could be a bit of carnage, but good slipstreaming for that car. As far as IMSA goes, for the Michelin Pilot Challenge, schedule-wise, we've got Lime Rock this week. But after that, Zandvoort, which would be cool, Mo Sport, and then Phillip Island. So the schedule's looking good for those three categories. And I recommend for any car or category that you're doing, check out those things. There's so much information that can be extracted out of the iRacing website that, um, yeah, it really enhances your experience and gives you um, meaning and gives you something to work for. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you appreciated that. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Dan, if you didn't, make sure you subscribe and come check me out on Twitch. Thanks to everyone who subscribed lately. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.